maybe old-fashioned guts right at the finish. That's what it could be. Well, that's the fight Hagler wanted to make out of it. He's, and Tommy's falling right into his plan. One thing you have to say about Hearns, he has took Marvin's best punch. And that can answer most of the questions that can, can Hearns take a punch. Bleeding heavily again, Hagler. He won't want to be in there too long for cuts to worsen, obviously. Punch again out. Let go, let go. Even though Hearns was holding there, Hagler was still managing to throw punches back. And Hearns looks at Ace floundering. What condition these fellows must be in to absorb these keep punches, up, up. and mostly Hearns having to take them. I think Hearns has to get off the rope. If he get off the rope, he will get he will get stopped. We're coming right at the end of the round, it'll do Hearns a favor. And again, the stare coming from Hearns there. He's not bothered at all, it would seem, though, Don. I mean, he was really under fire there, and yet the way he looked at Hagler was it's okay. The way you want it, let's go. I really didn't even pay attention um, to the pace because everything was coming out. My combination was coming out. My hand speed was good. Uh, my trainer was speaking to me that uh, I'm fighting a perfect fight. Don't worry about the cut. Just got to keep pumping like that, man. Got to keep mm -hmm. pumping, understand? I'm staying tight. I can smell what he had for dinner. That's how close I was. <laughs> no, but uh, I think we all worry um, with a fast pace like that whether or not how long the fight's going to last, and you don't want to tie out. This third round was... Uh, very good round because I remember on the ropes we going at it real hard and heavy, you know. And he feels as though that he can land one good shot and put me away. And I'm saying, you got nothing. So I put my head right on his chest and I stay close to him and I can hear him breathing every time that I give him a good shot, him go, mm -hmm. you know, the grunt, you know. And so I know I got him good. Now I'm waiting for him to move away off the ropes, in which he, he wants to rest on the ropes. And the referee, which I thought was very bad in this particular fight, because he kept pushing me away to give Tommy Hearns more time. Uh, this is no right. This is Richard Steele. Yeah. This is no right. So it only made me more madder. Now I want to kill Tommy. And uh, when Tommy moved away finally, he didn't know whether I was right-handed or lefty because I switched very good, and he didn't know which side I was on, and I caught him with a good right hand, on the right-handed side, and started, started the motion going. And Tommy tried to run. <laughs> Where you go? Crack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, woof. And I so much, um, I feel so much inside, like a monster, you know, just the way I fight. And I felt so much like a monster. And I want him to get up because I'm not finished with him because he talked so much prima for the fight. So I'm not finished. And I'm in good shape. Now Goody, my corner man, has stopped the blood. So now I don't worry about that. He speaked me in the corner. Don't worry about your cut. You okay, Marvin. It's not serious because it's not over my eyes. It's in the middle of my forehead. Yeah. So the blood must come down here. I can still see Louis. I don't know what's all this commotion in the corner with the doctor. So now I know if they're playing this game, I must knock him out now. I have to knock him out. And that's just the way that it went. And when Tommy went down, I was happy. I was very happy. And then when I stood in the corner, I find myself like a monster. Because I felt for the first time, if this guy get up, the next time when I go back, when the bell, they let him go, I'm going to kill this guy. It's just the way it is in boxing. You have to have that type of instinct inside you, that killing instinct that you must have. Oh, you won't be successful. And you're trying to take something away from me. <clears throat> I must make sure that you no come back into this fight. Yeah. You may go to another fight, <laughs> but you don't come back in this fight. So into the third, and the hitman has been...